Alrighty, what up runners? I'm streaming. We're doing this now. Welcome to Streaming from Shiloh. I'm your host, Graham. I am bringing to you the Stimhack Online Cash Refresh Tournament Season 3 Championship Match, which is myself versus Internet. And uh, this top cut is works a little bit differently than uh, some other events where uh, you've got, oh gosh, uh, you've got a best of three single elimination cut. So what that means is we get matched up with a person in the quarterfinals and then the semifinals uh, and each and then the finals. And so then each of these cut matches is a best of three. Uh, and if you lose your match, if you lose the best of three, then you are out of the cut altogether. So um, pretty exciting uh, game we've got tonight. I'm going to make sure that uh, there is a stream coming through on my channel. Uh, and then... Um, we're gonna we're gonna go from from there. Sweet. I'll throw this up in the slack. All right. Here's the stream link, y'all. All right, we're we're streaming. Let's let's freaking play some some net runner hey that that's what we want we want to play some net runner this is going to be sweet we got it we got something going let's do this video mode we are good all righty <laughs> Uh, quick shout outs to Internet Potato, my man Doug, who has already complimented my amazing channel. So thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're watching the stream, you're watching it from my side. Uh, he says, best of luck. I say you as well, because we're gentlemen. And that's what we do. If you're looking at it from my side, I have a couple of assets uh, at a big old piece of ice and it but you know it seems it seems fine I don't really why well, I, I don't do I need more money than this I don't like the idea of putting uh, this guy on R&D uh, I'll keep it it's such a it's such a big piece of ice man how do you like turn it down you know Um. so yeah, that's what I want. That's what we're talking about. All right, let's ice up R&D so he doesn't do anything too crazy. Uh, and we'll just uh, spam out some money remotes. Whoop, whoop. Thanks a lot to everyone who's watching the stream. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, network exchange in the house. Network exchange MVP. Uh, Internet was joking on our uh, Slack channel earlier saying the network exchange really was his most valuable card. Uh, oh gosh, I'm an idiot. I should have rezzed all this stuff. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'm just too busy talking. And and it'll be it'll be fine. Swordsman probably is not going to do me a ton in this matchup. Uh, so we're just going to throw this in a new remote and... Pretend that I'm playing shell games when in reality I'm just an airhead and just didn't resonate my crap. So, um, <laughs> Magnum Opus has made an appearance, so he's he's got money. That's actually really big because I totally assumed that he was on a versificator, and uh, he is not. Um, so, I think this actually could go better than I expected. Uh, we're going to draw um, to try to set up a, a scoring remote here. Um, I think I'm going to... i got to do something with this Kakugo here, right? Uh Gosh, this is just this is not a super stellar hand. Um, 
So the play I'm trying to set up here is to moosh in the show of force and then ice it up, probably with Kakugo so I can afford it, but data loop would also be a good choice. Uh, so, you know, I'm just going to put the day loop out in a newer mode and we're going to put the swordsman on HQ to dissuade him from doing stuff. But in reality, like, I don't really want those there. Uh, the swordsman especially, I don't feel like is going to do anything. Like, he's just going to... I don't really have to ice up HQ that much. I guess, I guess that's really what I'm getting at. All right, let's see if he's going to trash my board. It looks like he's going to. All righty. Now I have a reason for ice so I can protect my... Uh, money because now he's got a bad pub which is just super gross so let's move in the show of force uh, and we'll ice it up and that's gonna be a guy that is probably just gonna hang out for a little bit um, he's got the Gordian blade I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't get that so soon but you know what can you do um, so I'm going to jam this guy behind the data loop in server four. What is that? Uh, and basically I'm just, all I want to do right now is, uh, get show force up to four and I'm just going to park it there for a minute. He'll probably run it. Uh, but that's okay. Um, meanwhile, I think I could really s benefit from having a house of knives to score out. Ah, no! Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, it's a pain in the butt. Oh my gosh. I hate when that happens, you know? Alright, so this guy was in server 5. This guy's gonna go in server 4. Uh, this one has four advancement tokens on it, and I should have, um, so first click is advance, second click is install, third click is gain a credit. Okay, so my main goal, I'm going to try to score out the House of Knives. When I score it out, I'll do a net damage. I'll probably score out the Show of Force at the same time, which is going to do a net damage and then two meat damage, so that'll be four damage in the same turn, assuming that that doesn't kill him then I'll still be able to put the illegal arms factory behind the behind one of the ice, probably the Kakugo. And that might still give me some of the drip econ that I will want so so badly. Such sweet, sweet drip economy. Uh, illegal arms factory has been doing some great work in this deck because ooh, feedback filter. Nice. Um oh, Here's the cool thing, though. He doesn't have money to use the feedback filter right now. So we're going to score this out. Um, and we'll have a good time here. We're going to do a net damage. And then we're going to do two meat damage. And then we're going to do a net damage. And we're gonna see what we bend. We bend an extra mopus, a paper clip, a stim hack, and a scavenge. That's a terrible hand. That was garbage. Garbage, I say. Now, why did I leave all those or why did I score those out instead of try to like keep them on the table for like a kill shot thing? Because I wanna create pressure, so I wanna get some points. I'm at three points now, which means if I scored an obacata, I'm gonna be on game point, which is gonna be so sweet. Um, let's throw, here's the thing, so, uh, I'm going to, I could motion this June bug and waste this time on that, maybe. Uh, I kind of want to get this illegal arms factory behind this Kakugo, uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm choosing the Kakugo instead of the data loop because I'm ultimately going to overinstall what's ever here uh, with an Obakata. Now, I could put the mental health clinic behind the ice, uh, behind the data loop, because if I trash it later on, like, that's not a big deal. Uh, it only cost me zero to res, so that's fine, right? Um, meanwhile, I'll get in some, some drip economy and it'll be, it'll be good.
We'll be good to go. There is an Obakata. Oh man, a double data loop server. That would be gross. Uh, if I had more money, I could moosh in the Obakata and protect it with a data loop right now. I don't have the money, so I'm going to click for credits instead. Uh, but that, I think, might be the better play. I wasn't expecting to get the other data loop. Um, so... I'm going to... I can res all of this, right? So we're going to go one, two, three. And we're going to deal in that damage, uh, which he can prevent. He probably will. And now he can choose to bounce so he can kill the synth DNA if he wants. He's not going to, so he's going to take two net. One from passing and one from synth DNA. Um, okay, he doesn't care about it. So he's going to spend a bunch of money getting a second bad pub with the illegal arms factory. Uh, which means that now I'm going to have to switch gears to more of a glacier setup because he's going to have two bad pub, which means he can trash the synths for free, can trash the mental health clinic for one, all that kind of stuff. Actually, I should ping him for this. There's a Mirage over HQ. Do I want to trash the Swordsman for that? Because here's the thing. I can't pull off this crazy Mushin Obakata play because uh, I'm not going to be able to res the data loop. So we're just going to hold on to that for a little bit. So yeah, I think we're going to overinstall here and then just click for some money. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to res the data loop. He'll probably challenge this next turn to try to trash this for free. And I'm sure he will succeed at that point. Uh, I'm probably going to keep the House of Knives token here so that I can um, I'm probably going to keep the House of Knives token here so that I can stack it during an Obakata run. Um, uh, that That just feels like the right move to me, you know. I think we're going to keep the snare in hand, maybe. Oh, gosh. I don't have enough money to do anything. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Just because I don't want to have to discard stuff, and I'm cheap like that, I could discard the stock buyback, because currently it's doing me a whole lot of nothing. Um, I don't know. Like I, I'm going to click for two credits for sure because now I'm starting to get into like resing data loop range. So I can either just jam the snare in this Kakugo server. I might do that. Um, he doesn't check unadvanced face downs though. Uh, he waits for me to res stuff. So like the snare is just gonna, just gonna chill for a bit, I guess. That's fine. Um, yeah, I could res this data loop. But then I will be broke. So instead, I will just let him trash my mental health clinic. And that's fine. If he's feeling saucy, he might still run server 5. It's because he has his kit ability left that he can use on the Kakugo, but... There's no reason to, because clearly this is not a threat. Uh, this is good, though, because it means that I can leave three cost agendas just on the board, unresed, and he's not going to run them. You know what I mean? So, I got that going for me. Um, what do I do here? I think I click for credits and ditch the stock buyback. I think that's that's probably the best thing for me to do, though. Uh, yeah, is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's just gain some money. He 
It's checking my hand, but it's a Mirage. So I can draw a card and shuffle back one of the Ovocados, which will be cool. I draw one card, yes, and shuffle back an Ovocado. No more action. All right, so he's got a one in five of hitting an Ovocado and stealing it. I'm still going to save the House of Knives counter uh, because he can steal this no matter what. Uh, and I'd rather wait until I have a setup play here. Okay. Ooh, he's got the Ubax on the table. Oh, no way. No way, Ben Musashi. Oh, I love you. I love you, Ben Musashi. Um, so, do I motion the Obakata? And then put it behind the data loop like I've been talking about. Or do I put the Ben Musashi in server 5 and he hopes that there's already an agenda in there with like the Ben Musashi and then he checks it? I have had success with that very play. And I think I might do that just to waste some time uh, while I click for credits. So that I can actually score out the Obakata if I if I get it out there. I also like the idea of waiting for his hand to be like in the the three card range at the end of his turn, because then the data loop Obakata protocol play works really well. If he's at the six card seven card business then it doesn't work nearly as well so he's going to challenge a different remote <sighs> for a random access uh, I'll give it to you I think just because I'm really itching to get out this cool data loop thing if it's a one-pointer, I don't care. If it's a zero-pointer, it'd be really neat. He trashed it, so he's probably going to run again. Uh, I guess the same. Same idea here. What's the worst that could be, right? Maxwell James. Oh, I wonder if that's going to throw off math really hard. Ooh, that hedge fund, though. All right, what's happening right now is that every time I draw a card, I'm like, ooh, I can play with this card. And then I just keep getting sidetracked from my super cool plan. Um, so in order to steal the oboe, he needs to take four net plus one from the ID, so that's five. Although he can actually prevent that ID damage with the feedback filter. So it's four plus the two, which is six, and he starts every turn with six, which is dumb. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, do I just do it? He'll still be able to steal it. Oh man, I don't, I don't know. I think I felt, I think I hold on to it. Um, I can spend three credits to install a new piece of ice on one of my servers so that I don't just like here. Let's let's do hedge fund. Let's do R and D. Spend three, and we'll click for credit. That seems good. That seems just fine. Personal touch. I haven't seen that guy around for a hot minute. Good news also is that he's only got 20 cards left in his deck. Well, including his hand, 21. There's a Wampoa for you. Always a good thing to see. Um, he's still at this five card thing, which I just, I just don't love it, you know? It's like, just get out of here, man. What if I just throw this June bug in with the Ben Musashi and... Uh, well, okay, check out this mind game. 
I could throw the June bug in, double advance it behind the Kukugo. Then type into the chat. Oh, then, then I res Ben Musashi preemptively. And then I type into the chat, like, you know, don't know if you're on careful planning. And he'll be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, 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 so. That will be awesome. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's that's some mind games. That's some mind games. Don't know if you're on careful planning. Mwahaha. <laughs> Just pre-resing. So he says, I don't think that would be that helpful here. It only blocks reses. Just pre-resing the Musashi. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right. Uh, Shout-outs to uh, Dave Laird. Sorry, Ghost Meat. You didn't make it this time. But next time, man. Next time. <laughs> it's okay. I've uh, I've never made a cut of any tournament before, so I'm feeling super, super groovy about where I'm at. Just so stoked. <clears throat> All right. This is going to be crazy. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right. Do I let him draw one card? Ooh, Philotic. We're going to send that right on back. Right on back. I was like, do I get rid of the, the Wampoa? What do I do here? All right. Don't hit the elbow. Don't hit the elbow. Yes! You can trash that Wampoa for all I care. I got I got preemptive actions, man. I'll just get that back later if I really want it. <gasps> oh no. He used the Maxwell James to derez the Kukugo. Nicely done. Uh do I ping him for the House of Knives right here? <laughs> no, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. Because I want to save it for the actual Obakata. with a June bug. He's going to block all the damage. It's fine. <laughs> uh, but it'll be set back a cool 12 credits. Oh, he takes it. He he takes the damage. And he's going to trash Ben Musashi here too. Oh, Diesel. Clutch Diesel. Oh, man. What a, what a rude dude. How rude is that? I really just gotta. I really just gotta figure out what the heck. I, I I just really wanted him at like three cards. That's all. That's all I want. Is that too much to ask? Um. I mean, eventually he's gonna find this obakata hanging out in my hand, which I don't love. I'm also still pretty broke, which I also don't love. Um, so here, let's just try to get another. Uh, you know, here's what I'm going to do. He doesn't check face downs like ever. So we're just going to throw this guy into server five and click for two credits. And eventually I'm going to, I'm going to score out one of these darn oboes, I swear. And then, uh, when I do, 
this guy will just be laying in wait. I'll just advance him. I'll just advance him then. It'll be genius. Oh, he's go he's going for R and D. R and D pressure. That's not not terrible. It's just a cool DNA tracker. Don't you don't gotta worry about it. It's gonna run. Hmm. <laughs> I really feel like the Obacata is the right thing to risk here. Yeah, because uh, if he wants to run it a second time, he'll have to um, install the paperclip. So I'll slow him down a little bit more. Uh, I will say that he has been playing this correctly in that you really don't want to let me have money on the table by trashing those things. I think he he really did did himself some some good work here. All right, his stack is waning. I like it. I like the looks of it. I don't always grind it out, but but when I do, <laughs> um. Yeah, this deck has 15 agendas, three of which are Project Kusanagi, that are zero points. And there and there, basically, instead of like a Breach Dome, you know what I mean? It's just a zero advancement thing. Um, uh, it, you know, it, it, in theory, I could motion it or like score it off the table if it's just been sitting there for a while to ping him for net damage, but it's like a really slow. Um, oh, he's you gonna break? Really? All right, I will redirect you. Oh, he's de he's derezzing it. I see. I see what he's doing. He's gonna run it again, and I'll be poor, and it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. I just feel like I gotta keep clicking for credits, man. I mean, I know I like my Jinteki mind games and everything. Alternatively, I could just score out another House of Knives, and then I'll just have more net damage to ping him with. Uh, that might be better at this point. Um, I'll be at three credits. Gosh, it's going to take me so long here. Let's just draw. There's a Kusanagi. That's my boy. Holla at your boy. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be challenging my HQ here. Uh, let's see if he breaks it. All right, fine, 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 fine. Fine, fine, fine. You can come in. <gasps> yes. Um, all right, we're going to leave this in here to pad my hand. Um, I think nine credits is the magic number, right? All right, don't hit the oboe. Don't hit the oboe. Don't hit the oboe. Yes! Don't hit the oboe. Don't hit the oboe. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all right, where's that stock buyback? It's in the bin. It's in the bin. That's what I need right now is a freaking stock buyback. All right, this is the turn, I think. Unless he draws up twice. Ooh, arc lockdown. He showed up fashionably late. What do you think? Should I arc that fem? I don't think it's going to do anything. I could arc that paperclip. Also don't think it's going to do anything. 
What if I just what if I just do the thing that I've been talking about for like seriously 15 minutes? How about I just do that? That seems fine. That seems totally fine to me. Oh, he gets a Beth Kill Rain Chain draw too? And an Ubex draw? Oh no. Beth is just gaining credit. Sure, you can check out the card that's in my hand. That's totally fine. So if you're watching this and you're at Worlds and you don't have any idea what you want to do for Corp for this Cash Refresh event that's coming out this week, um, scoring out Obokatas behind Data Loops is not the worst plan. In fact, I think it's pretty good. I mean, I'm biased, but I mean, it also got me to this point, so that's pretty good for me, right? All right, so if he hits an oboe, he takes the four net, blocks the one from PE, and he'll be at six agenda points, but he can't steal this Obokata on the table. Oh, he takes show of force. Take show of force. Blocks the damage. Now he's on game point. Ah, uh, thank you, Moses. <gasps> the next one was an Obokata. The next one was an Obokata. Ah! If, if he had drawn and ran again, he would have won. Instead of clicking from Opus twice. Because obviously PE doesn't fire on the winning agenda, so you only need four cards in hand, and he would take one from the Kukugo. Oh, but he can only run once without installing the paperclip. He probably had enough money for that, right? He would have been at 12. So, yeah. Bad pub. Would have been fine. Um, so we're going to do a one... A two, a score, boom. Creating pressure, I like it. All right, so if he, uh, yeah, he's, he's not gonna let this guy sit on the table here. So we'll res it. And, um, I could ping him for another damage. He'll be at six. No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, God. So if you... Oh, no. You rat. Don't... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, he's got one card too many. I could, if he had four cards, I could hit him for the House of Knives. Worth it. What do you think? Do I draw up here and just click for a credit and that way I can pad my hand with the Obakata stuff? Um, I'm going to draw up here and we're going to throw the snare into... Oh, I don't have enough money for that snare. F that. I'm going to click for credit. Hmm. Pad my hand. And if he runs my hand, which he probably will because that's a good idea, then oh that's a shame <laughs> oh god alright so there's one oboe left in there but otherwise I mean if he hits any any one pointers he wins there's let's see there's one show force two water monopolies and an oboe in there. So there's four agendas. I can't res this crap. Because um, this is just a DNA tracker. So... Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? I think this is going to be it anyway, so... Here it goes.
One, two, three. Yeah! I lucked out. Yes. Thank you. <gasps> In preemptive action. Oh, no. Well, I, if, I, if I preemptive action, I show him fresh cards. Right now, I know that the top of R&D is safe. So I don't love playing that right now. Um... I mean, I so I thought about replacing the Miraju on HQ with this Aiki because it's cheap and it costs some money. But does it really cost some money? I don't really feel like it does. And then it, it's if this Oboe stays in my hand, then it's kind of a liability, right? Because, um, yeah, no, I don't like that plan. Uh, what is Koma Inu ever going to do anything ever? It might. I don't know. He technically, he doesn't have a Sentry Breaker out, so. Yeah, he just runs a couple Fems. Uh, well, he could hit the snare, so we're just going to let him in. Come on. Yeah! Oh, believe in the heart of the cards. This is This is a match. This is a game right here. I'll tell you what. This is a game right here. <clears throat> all the traps. All the counterplay. <sighs> ah. Well, he's going to clear that tag, I assume. I don't know. I don't know if I would actually want to trash any of this stuff. I could get rid of the network exchanges, I suppose. Oh, there's a motion. There's a motion. Um. I think I. What do you think? Do I overinstall this Barajou over HQ? Um, these data loops are like. Actually, at this point. I could almost score out behind a data loop. Um, really quick, I'm going to count his influence. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven influence so far. I'm going to remove those fems. I mean, it. Uh, maybe that's just a freaking time waster. I don't know. If I can, if I can get him down to five cards left, if I can do one more net damage, I think I can score out this oboe behind a data loop. Uh, so I'm just gonna waste time. Um, gain a credit. Arc lock down the fems, so that way he can't do anything tricky. He, because I think he's got the influence for the retrieval run. <clears throat> You have in for retrieval run. He responds with what? Uh, and then we're going to throw back in this stock buyback and maybe just some money, like these hedge funds. Uh, no, this is Jinteki. We're gonna put back the snares. Like, let's be real. <laughs> oh man alright well I can't res the DNA tracker so I don't have a lot of options here this forces me to draw an Aiki is this it? yes believing in the heart of the cards. Oh, after that, I'm not going to res that Mirage. That's stupid. I don't have money for that. All right. One and four. He wins. Oh! Woo! Great game. <clears throat> that was nuts. Holy cow. You too. We switch sides now. Yeah? 
Oh, man, I just did not have any more Jinteki tricks up my sleeve. I had the winning agenda was on top, too, if he had made another run. Um, oh, because I lost. We're going to switch. Um, and he's going to make it. So that so that's exciting. Um, so while he makes that game, I'm going to update one of my snazzy graphics. All right. We're going to show you what's happening right now. So, he has one win. I have zero wins. Best out of three. See, wasn't this the most helpful graphic? Aren't you, aren't you so excited that I took you on this journey of graphics to this point? You're so welcome. <laughs> oh man! All right, let's uh, let's just let's just get back to it, huh? All right, what am I playing? Big Rig Ayla, he's on Tenon. Here we go. We're doing it. Let's switch back over. Switch back over to the Jinteki.net lobby. Enable video mode. Here we go. What do I need? Oh, we're going to get out of this cool early tap worm. We're going to get out of this cool early, early Ubex. Oh, yeah. We got HQ interface here. And I could do stim hack on demand. Yeah. Because those are all like one ofs in my deck. He says, best of luck. I say you as well. This is for all the marbles. Well, I'll wait till game three to say that. Because obviously I'm going to win this. Uh, what is this hand? I have a modded for this cool Ubex that I have hiding here. And a sure gamble. We're going to keep. We're going to keep it. Oh, but there's a femme in my hand. I'll have to pitch that. I have a test run in this deck. I have two copies of test run. Why two copies of Test Run, you ask? I'll tell you. Uh, it's because uh, Cash Refresh, man. <laughs> There's only two copies in the core set. Are you rushing out right now? Is that what you're trying to do to me? Dude. You are crazy. Drop this Ubex. We're gonna mod it. I could have installed the tapeworm there, but I did not because if he's gonna score out a three point agenda right now, a three cost agenda, he's not gonna have money for the tapeworm. And I don't even have a sack con down yet. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna rush on this piece, huh? Fine. HQ interface it is. Bring it. Boom! Medical breakthrough. Preemptive action. Um Throw down a sack con so that next turn when I run, I can uh, put down a taper. I like it. HQ. Let's see what we got hiding in here. Preemptive action. Preemptive action. We're going to do it one more time. What do we got? Preemptive action and. Ah! Obacata protocol. Clicked that too fast but I'll live with it because um, I kind of don't want to get rid of this Gordian Blade uh, nah nah uh, yeah basically well, I don't know. Two of these things are... I'm, I'm living with my decision. I'm living with it. Everything is fine. I'm living with it. <clears throat> Alright, so we got that Shaper Drip. We got Ubex. I draw a card every turn. We got Tapeworm. I'm making a credit. Most turns, probably. Um... Oh man, that magnum opus though.
So I have a couple choices. I could equivocate the bazookas out of R&D right now. That's not terrible. That's not crazy, right? Is that crazy? It's a little bit crazy. But I'm assuming that's another three-pointer. It could be the next medical breakthrough there. Um, I think it's the right time for this. I already checked his hand, and two of those cards are preemptive actions, and one of them is an Ovacata. So we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Kakugo, take it. Hedge fund, take it. Four net damage to steal a Bacata protocol. Yes, I will. Reveal. MCA Austerity. Shipment from Tenant. All right. So now he's got a ton of cards in his hand, and he's probably trying to score this out. Oh, well. I kind of hope that would go a little bit more in my favor. I could run his HQ. Um, but I think the only thing that's in there is an Obakata now. Because I gave him an MCA. And this is probably the Kakugo I saw. So MCA preemptive, preemptive Obakata is his hand right now. I think I'm going to draw up. And threaten... Um, I shouldn't have clicked for a credit there. That was silly. I was thinking I had to get to sure gamble range, but he's got me on tilt, man. Oh, is the Obakata in that server? You sneaky swine. Unless that's like an upgrade or an MCA or something. I assume that he was on MassCom. Right? Mass commercialization, which means that he would be putting these advancement counters like all on his ice and stuff. But it looks like he's on more like a 10 and rush. At least that's how he's playing it so far. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Oof. All right, let's throw it on a Parisia. Let's run HQ a bunch. That'll work out, right? MCA? Yes, you can get rid of it. Let's check out HQ again. Preemptive action and Ice Wall. So his hand is two preemptives, an Ice Wall. Uh. I guess I'll gamble up here. He's going to throw it on this ice wall, and then I'm going to be in trouble, right? I mean, I can force him to spend some money raising this Kakugo, because I have equivocation on the table. So I can just bounce off the Kakugo. I assume it's a Kakugo. I guess it could be a Koma Inu, so I should probably respect that. Oh, he throws the ice wall on the remote. You rat. I need an SMC yesterday. Ah, uh, believe in the heart of the cards. Ah, oh, that feels good. That feels really good. So here's the deal. This deck runs Maven. Um... So just just let me let me talk this out for a second. So my goal here is to make him jam something in the remote. I'll slam down the SMC. I'll stim hack, pull up the Maven, and then break all the stuff. Uh, Maven will be at like strength four or five at that point. Here. So I want to get some data sucker counters so that I can lower strength of stuff. Preemptive action, shipment from Kaguya. Um, I'm 
I'm going to draw the stim hack and throw them the dug deer so that I have a place to put the SMC and then the maven. Oof, man, it brought the pressure this game. My heart is pounding. So I, I have to go for that, right? What if it's a snare, though? I guess I draw first then, right? Uh, but if I draw... Hold on. We're going to type in some thinking here. Okay, so if my turn is... Install the SMC, draw for stim hack. No, sorry. It's install the SMC, draw a card so I don't get snared, play stim hack. I still have a click left. So if I don't make a successful run, I can still make a successful run on HQ. And my Maven can break one, two, three, four, five, six strength ice. I think that works. So what did I say? We draw. Cool. Cool. I dig it. Um, we're going to install this SMC. I'm gonna run HQ uh, now to get the extra counter. Shipment from 10 in, preemptive action, okay. The extra data sucker counter. And then I'm gonna stim hack last click on the three deep scoring remote. Oh, install paperclip. I think that's the right call instead of get out Maven right away. Um, I have 19 credits. Maybe it's just so blooming expensive. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. If he reses like a DNA tracker, it's not going to be great. Because then I'm going to have to get the Maven and it's going to be six to break. Because the uh, Gordian Blade is in the bin. So, also if it's a century, I technically, ah, oh, speak of the devil. All right. Seven strength maven. I'm not going to have enough money for this crap. Be a single sub. Be a single sub. Yeah. Insane. Insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. Exactly enough creds. Madness. Oh my gosh. Crazy, crazy game. So, we got one more, huh? We got one more, baby. All right. All right, baby. Uh, well, so... I guess... I guess he gets to choose, huh? I think that's how that works. Um... This is crazy, huh? Uh, yeah, so... Here's the deal. I've won one. He's won one. So now we have to do the best of three, which is two games. Oh my gosh. What a what a finals though, right? 
Like how 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 much fun is this? I'm just having a blast over here. Um Let's uh let's get the sucker set up here, huh? Switching the graphics on over. Enable video mode. So I know from the last game that he likes to trash the illegal arms um, to get the bed pub. So I want to put that behind ice, which I have none. So I will mulligan. Look to you as well. This one is for all the marbles. Hmm. All right, throw it in a remote behind a Kakugo. I probably could have rushed out a house of knives, actually. That probably would have been better. Now that I think about it. Um. Can't say I love it, but it, he says go go network exchange, but it only cost me a. Well, I'm not gonna say anything. I mean, like, it does network exchange definitely dissuades me from installing a lot of ice. Like that's that's super legit. Um. So let's do. Let's do this guy. And then I don't think there's a lot to arc lockdown. I don't think that was a huge play last game, and I can always just preemptive action it back, right? All right, drawing two cards. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Let's protect R and D. Let's throw this guy in a new remote. And click for credit. Actually I should scroll out this house of knives here really soon. Let's get rid of this Aiki because he's kit. And I'm also going to get rid of this Kusanagi. So when I eventually get that that uh, stupid Mirage and he's like, I'm going to break it and do res. And then he'll hit archives and I'll steal the Kusanagi and take a net damage. Take that. Ah. I'm the best. I'll do a net. And now he gets the bad pub. Because I left myself with too little money to res. That was a, that's a crying shame, isn't it? I don't love that. Hmm. Looks like my three card combo's back, guys. How exciting is that? Um, Alright, let's throw Musashi in this remote. And we'll click for some creds. I might actually have to put a um, a Koma Inu on the outside here. Oh gosh. Let's do it. Well, I kind of want to put the House of Knives in there. All right, so that's our game plan. House of Knives is going to go in server one. Koma Inu is going to get installed on top of server one. Um, just going to set me back some creditos. Going to click up to 10 credits. Then we're going to put the House of Knives in there. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That seems fine.
take the net. I'll deal the net. You can access. Gets the Ubax down. <laughs> and Azuma's not going to do me anything this game. Let's be real. Clicking for credits. And Azuma, you are... Well, actually, you know what? I would rather have the Inazuma to just proc the the kit trigger than anything else, you know. An access card for my hand. Oh my gosh, he gets the Obakata. He's gonna take he's gonna take the five net on that, I think. I think he has to, right? Um because if he doesn't steal an Obakata, like it's super hard for him to win. Uh, bad news is that my opponent will be on three points. And I don't love that. If I had just pinged him with the House of Knives just now, it would have been fine. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. But I didn't. I done, I done messed up, A.A. Ron. All right, well, he likes to trash all my stuff. So I don't think... This... <laughs> uh, well, you know, he says, I'm bracing my insult for impact. I say, well, you know, I don't have three uh, neurals because cash refresh, man. Oh my god, I just need some some money. Just need some money. Here's the thing. This is more like draw than actual money. So, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep doing. So guys, we figured it out. We figured out the best kill combo that you can put in 1,000 cuts for cash refresh is you put in an O2 shortage. And obviously, they don't want you to fast advance out an agenda. So they take the the uh, the trash a card effect, and then you hit him for two neurals. It's genius. Well, I got House of Knives for days, so I guess, uh, I guess we'll start doing that. Now that I've clicked myself back up from Oblivion. Well, this is fine. This is fine. See, data loop. Maxwell James, huh? Uh, let's think about this. Uh, here's the thing with Maxwell James he's basically got an inside job right now where I would have to oh gosh uh, here's the deal I'm going to res the Kakugo he's going to de-res the Kakugo um If he doesn't derez the Kakugo, I can still do another bunch of net damage to him. He does derez it. Um, so now we're gonna hit him for the net damage. And we're gonna res the Ben Musashi, and he can steal this right now for three net damage. Just not terrible. Nothing to sniff at, you know. Um.
Alternatively, if he tries to run in again, I can res the Kakugo again to keep him out. Nah, yeah, he didn't have anything worth keeping in there. All right, well, I'm just gonna start jamming stuff in the scoring remote because if I actually get it all rezzed, it's gonna be a beast. Feedback filter, boo. Just the Kusanagi into the archives. Look around HQ, nothing to hide, nothing to see. Now if he runs HQ, yes. Aha. Um. Aw, oh, dang it. Water Monopoly only applies to non-virtual resources because it needs that nerf. And freaking network exchange is a virtual resource. So freaking Water Monopoly still does nothing. You get nothing. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Hmm. Well, I can't do my my beloved Obakata thing because it would be the winning agenda. So he'll need one, two, three, four, plus two for the data loop, plus one for the house of knives. So he needs seven cards, and he's going to have seven cards. So that's dumb. Let's draw. I guess I'll... Do I ice up HQ here, or do I ice up R&D and signal that the win is in R&D? Um, yeah, that's not R&D. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Something I could also consider doing here is put the data loop on top of this massive gross remote. It cost me a cool five credits to install, and I don't, I don't want to think that hard about it. Um, it cost me five credits to install. And seven credits to res. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's even feasible, man. You know what? Last time we played, and I was counting influence for the retrieval run, I don't think I counted influence right, because I don't remember counting the the Deuces Wilds. I could res the Kuma Inu and make him spend a bunch of money. He's got Magnum Opus. That's stupid. Uh... Yeah, I'll deal with that. Uh, that's fine. He's going to trash the Synth DNA mod, but it also means that he's not going to run in here again. Well, I mean, he could install Paperclip, actually. That's not terrible. Oh, I should have pinged him. Should have pinged him. That's okay. We're just going to gain a bunch of money because I'm broke. Uh, so, just so that everyone remembers, Kukugo is annoying as hell. It's, I mean, do, do you guys think it's, is it actually broken or is it just a pain in the butt? 
He doesn't have equivocation on the table, so he's going to see three. I'm going to deal a net damage to him with House of Knives. Oh, never mind. He's got freaking feedback filter. Oh, that's stupid. All right, so... Ah, oh, the elbow! Oh, no. <sighs> well played. Could never get you to low enough cards in hand to threaten an elbow score. Yeah, man, that those were close, close games. That was just bonkers, I think. Uh, I had a ton of fun with that. Um, but unfortunately, there can only be one winner. And your winner tonight is Internet. Uh, anyway, guys, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for streaming. If you were at the beginning of this stream, thank you so much for putting up with uh, my inability to get my streaming software and YouTube to sync up. I don't know what happened there. Maybe I'll have to like read some blogs about it. That's gross. If you guys are at uh, Worlds, good luck this weekend. You guys are going to have a blast. Super jealous that you get to be there, but uh, I'm hoping to make it next year. So that'll be really cool. Uh, and uh, I want to give a big congrats to Internet because he was a great opponent. We had a, a couple of really awesome games there uh, at the end, and uh, I had a blast. So anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in to Streaming from Shiloh, and uh, I'll see you next time.